on Riverdale Road in College Park. Officers responded to a shots fired call and arrived to find the victim who was taken to an area hospital. Police have yet to say if they have a suspect, but we'll keep an eye on the story. Brownsville traditionally has been ground zero for this problem, and it ebbs and flows all across the southern border. The southern border in the national spotlight today as President Biden and former President Trump both visit Texas. Immigration remains a top issue ahead of the 2024 election, and it's a big topic of discussion here in Georgia as well after last week's murder of Lake and Riley on the UGA campus. Uh, police found the body of Augusta University student Lake and Riley a week ago on the UGA campus. Riley's suspected killer Jose Ibarra entered the U.S. illegally from Venezuela. Police have charged Ibarra with murder. Now, former President Donald Trump also visited the southern border today, and he took time to address Lake and Riley's murder while bashing President Biden's border policies. What he is doing is just unbelievable. Joe Biden will never say Lake and Riley's name, but we will say it and we will remember. We're not going to forget her. In just the last few hours, we have learned that Ibarra will not seek bond. Looking ahead, Lake and Riley will be laid to rest tomorrow. Visitation will be held from noon to 2, followed by the funeral at Woodstock City Church. The family has asked for donations to Lakin's GoFundMe account to help start the Lake and Hope Riley Foundation. The aim is to drive homicide awareness and safety for women. So far, the account has raised more than $163,000. We have the link posted on our website. In Douglas,